ओके स्टूडेंट्स आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एट एनी पॉइंट ड्यू टू डायपोल फॉर दिस लेट अस कंसीडर द डायग्राम हियर हियर ए एंड बी इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल हैविंग चार्जेस माइनस क्यू एंड प्लस क्यू ओ इज द सेंटर ऑफ द डायपोल एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एट पॉइंट के राइट लाइक दिस हियर A and B is electric dipole having charge minus Q plus Q, and we have to find the field intensity at any point K. Now this point K is not lying on the axial line of the dipole, also not lying on the equatorial point. So to solve this problem, we can use a method in which this dipole can be resolved into two rectangular components. One. which is parallel to it which is uh, one is such that the point k lies on the axial line of the dipole right so here we have resolved in a1 b1 such that point k lies on the axial line of a1 b1 dipole and a2 b2 such that k lies on the equatorial line of the dipole right it is clear k lies on the axial line of a1 b1 and k lies on the equatorial line of the dipole now you can see that uh, p cos theta component is along a1 b1 and p sin theta component is p2 a2 b2 now how is this possible now let us solve this again again solve this problem here p is the dipole moment right and this is the component now this could become p cos theta only when this becomes the base of triangle we know that the base component always becomes cos theta and perpendicular component becomes sin theta now draw a perpendicular over this now be in clear that we have drawn the perpendicular over this line perpendicular over this line right so since two angles are on this line so this component becomes p cos theta it becomes p cos theta and this vertical component becomes p sin theta i think you must be aware of how it comes cos theta and sin theta if you don't know you can ask me right now if i extend this you can see this becomes a1 b1 and this is a and b so this component is our p cos theta and this component is sin theta which is perpendicular to this line now we can draw perpendicular at this point so this component is p sin theta so our this component is p cos theta accordingly and this component is p sin theta and point k is lying over the axial line of a1 b1 and equatorial line of a2 b2 right now we know that at axial line e axial the relation is 2p upon 4 pi epsilon r cube right along the axial line of dipole now here p is replaced by p cos theta right p cos theta along axial line of dipole and direction is along kl so we can write here along k l similarly e equatorial e equatorial is written as p upon 4 pi epsilon not r cube now this p component has been replaced by component p sin theta along equatorial we have the dipole moment p sin theta so p sin theta p sin theta and this is along the mk because it is opposite to the dipole it is along mk along mk now we can see here that this becomes a parallelogram and the resultant intensity is given by resultant intensity is given by this parallelogram law so k n square can be written as k n square can be written as k l square plus k m square k l square plus k m square or k n square k n is equal to root of k l is what k l is 
E1 intensity along the axial line of dipole and Km is E2 intensity along the equatorial line. So it becomes E1 square plus E2 square. Now putting these values we will get P E1 is E1 is E axial, E1 is E axial and E2 is E equatorial. So E1 is E axial. So 2P cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube whole square plus e2 is e equatorial which is p sin theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube square or iska square root right now we can solve it now we can solve it uh, taking p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube common it will become p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube common we are left with 2 cos theta whole square 4 cos square theta plus sin square theta this can be break break into p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube root 3 cos square theta plus cos square theta plus sin square theta so this becomes 1 so it becomes p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube root 3 cos square theta plus 1 so this is the net resultant intensity right so e is p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube root 3 cos square theta plus 1 right uh, so now and the direction of this is along kl along kn making an angle alpha so we write here along kn right now we can find the direction of e by using the relation tangent alpha now tangent alpha can be calculated from this triangle tangent alpha is kl by kn kn is what e2 so kl is kl is your e1 by e2 Perpend sorry perpendicular upon uh, base so perpendicular is kn so e2 by e1 so it is e2 by e1 e2 is 2 e2 is equatorial so we write here p sin theta upon e1 is 2p cos theta p say p cancel out it becomes 1 by 2 tangent of theta so tangent alpha is equal to tangent theta and now if we know the time so we can find out the if we know the value of theta we can find out alpha for example 